Hi people, just want to um, do a quick video on fake football shirts. Um, if you're a collector of classic football shirts like myself, one of the things you'll notice if you look on some of the, uh, the online websites is a glut of retro shirts that are not originals, that are basically not even official reissues, they are what we could call China fakes. Um, most of them are quite glaring, they have various, very obvious faults, they don't look quite like the originals, you know, badges are in the wrong place, logos are wrong, um, they just look cheap and tacky. However, one reissue that I'm a big fan of um, are the official Umbro reissues of the Italian 90 shirts, um, which were released by Umbro before they lost the England contract. So they did a run possibly for the 2006 World Cup, but definitely for the 2010 World Cup and another one for the Euros in 2012. And basically they reissued almost exact copies, almost exact remakes of the shirts that were played in those tournaments. Um, very classic shirts. Um, and you even saw those remakes in a couple of films. Um, Jay in the Inbetweeners films wore the red um, Umbro reissue. And if you've ever seen a film called Weekender, even though it's set in 1990, one of the main characters in there wears an England shirt with 19 on the back. And that also is one of the official Umbro Tally 90 reissues. Now, of course, England don't, um, Umbro don't have that contract anymore, so they can't produce those retro shirts anymore under licence. So now um, the company that holds the official licence for England materials, um, such as that, is a company called Scoredraw. But... The problem with Scoredraw is because they can't use Umbro's logos, the shirts that they produce still don't quite look right. They have lines around the sleeves rather than the um, the normal Umbro pattern. Obviously, they can't have the Umbro um, logo on the shirt as well. So, they don't look proper at all. We call them um, um, Scoredraw knockoffs, and they are really a knockoff, even though they are officially licensed by the FA. But anyway... Because I'm such a fan of the, the reissues, and because they're official products made by Umbro, um, I've collected a few of them over the years. Um, my white Umbro shirt, though, has got a bit worse for wear. So I wanted to replace it. I wanted to find another official Umbro release and wear that. Now, I know that's, that's going to be rare, as I've not been in production for, what, eight, nine years now, but I found one on eBay and thought, okay, it looks the part. It has all the right, it looks like it has all the right tags in the photographs, this is Umbro on it, it's got the right um, patting in on the sleeve. Um, so I paid a pretty penny for it, thinking I'm getting this official product, someone's just shoved in a cupboard for years and um, is now looking to sell on. So hopefully I was getting an official Umbro product. I'm actually going to show you what I got and then I'm going to compare it to the proper official Umbro product so you can see the differences. Now this is the shirt in front of you. Looks pretty good. Doesn't it? I mean, it's got the Umbro here. If you look at the pattern on the sleeve, again, it's the proper Umbro pattern. Um, on the back, it's got the Gaza 19, and it's a proper felt that the, the original ones had. It's not the uh, sort of plastic, shiny stuff you get on a lot, of, a lot of cheap China fakes these days, but it is a China fake. Um, it's even got a number of label. Now, on a lot of the China fakes, what you'll find in one of them is that they've got official labels, but they're the labels of the time, so they'll have the Umbro logos with the black pattern and the little green bits on them, which are not, not, not um, of the time when these shirts were out, of the time of more recent purchases, which is a dead giveaway for a fake. But, as fakes go, this is a, is a very good one. But there's still a lot of flaws that I noticed instantly, and I'll show you by showing you what the original shirt looked like, or the original Umbro release. So, this is an official 2010 Umbro reissue of the 1990 shirt. Face value, there's not a lot of difference, it's a slightly thicker material. This is not as white as it should be because I've had it a long time. Hence why I wanted to replace it. All of this looks pretty similar. The patterning is similar. One of the key differences that you'll notice is the umbros are not the same. Um, it's a much thicker, fuller umbro logo on the official one. And they are 
for registered trademark is exactly in the middle like you expect it to be, where this one's sort of lopped over the side, it's not quite as good. In terms of one of the other key differences though, is the button on the shirt. So if you have a look at this button here, you'll see that it's not quite a flush button, it has an indented centre. And the bit on it here is blue. Whereas on the proper one, it's more of a, a mother of pearl button and the pullover bit is consistent with the rest of the collar patterning. One of the other key differences as well is this shape here in the V is much more rounded in the fake than in the original which goes to more of a, more of a triangular point. And then inside you've got the labels itself. Now this label and that label, if you were to compare them, you would say, well, they look pretty much the same. Except they're not. They're a different feel in the material. This is much more shiny, whereas this is much more of a sort of fuller figure. Then underneath, the Umbro one, the official one, has this sizing label, whereas this one has this sort of badly printed label. Now I'm going to show you another key difference as well, and it's on the, the tag, because you would say, well this tag looks pretty good, I mean you open it up, and it's got all this stuff inside, so it looks pretty good. However, I do happen to have an official 1990 reissue from Umbro that still has the tags on it. I bought and kept because I've got two of these. Now this is a proper one. Um, and if you look at the tag, it's pretty similar but it's a lighter colour. The printing inside is better and on the back it has a hologram. There's no hologram on the back of this. This is just something that someone's copied and printed. Um, the label tag should be a sort of tied thing, not a plasticky thing as well. And in terms of finishing of the shirt as well, what you'll find on the original Umbro ones is that the finishing in the, in the stitching on the inside is very sort of smooth. There's no rough edges. It's folded over and, and you know it's a very good finish. Whereas on this fake one, as you can see, there's a lot of you can see where it's been machine stitched. Um, and then the last key difference is the labels inside, whereas this label has only got this very small label, washing instructions, no mention of really much at all, made in China. I mean, the originals and the proper ones are made in China as well. I mean, the ones from 1990, the proper original ones, were made in England, but they're like rocking horse doo doo now. Whereas these official Umbra remakes have this label inside, spare button, they had this underneath and then they had the official Umbra product with the relevant serial code. Um, my feeling is that with the, the Euros coming up this summer, these fake ass China shirts are going to become more prevalent. Um, I wouldn't normally buy, buy them, I bought this thinking it was. I'd looked out and I'd got an official Umbro reissue, I haven't, I've got a piece of crap that's been sent back to the sell seller after we've made this video today. Um, don't be taken in by them. And you know, if you want to buy a score draw for some of that's fine, because that's it is what it is, it doesn't pretend to be something it's not. This is pretending to be an official Umbro release and it isn't, it's just something that someone's knocked up in a factory in China. Anyway, that's enough for now, do look out for my other videos, I will be posting a few on football shirts as well as back to fragrances. And a few dance mixes as well. So quite a um, quite a mix of things going on, on the channel. I don't want to confuse it too much, but do check those out if you can. Thank you.